Hello class, in this video I'll show you how to properly export your animation um, for a computer game. So in previous lessons we have created um, five animation clips. They are tech, idle, jump, run, and walk cycles. So these are different cycles and create them in separate files. Okay, so now we need to put in them together in one file and we need to export it as a FBX file. So this is the attack animation. This is the idle animation. This is the jump. This is the wrong cycle. And here's the walk cycle. Okay. As you can see, all of them are individual files that are separate here. Okay, so let's see if we start with the walk cycle, okay, the walk file. Uh, what do you need to do first is we need to bake all the keyframes. See, now all the animations are on the controllers, okay, but uh, uh, Unity 3D cannot read uh, the controllers' keyframes. Okay, so we have to convert the keyframe, the action, from the controller to the joints. Uh, so right now I hide the joints. Okay, so here they are. And see if I select um, any of those joints, there's no keyframes. Okay, so what do you do? Uh, go to select all by type. And we'll select all the nerve curves. Okay, so this will select all the controllers uh, with the keyframes. And make sure uh, you your timeline is at the range of the keyframes you want. See here, I don't have any keyframe um, after 34 frames, so I don't want to bake the keyframe after 34 frames. So uh, here, make sure your timeline is your work area. Okay, you will go to select all by type, and also we'll select all joints. Okay, so this will select all individual joints in this hierarchy, and well switch from modeling um, to animations and go to key and we'll go to bake simulation so this will bake all of uh, the keyframes so make sure hierarchy is selected um, so we have selected all joints and channel all keyables so you're going to uh, key the transient XYZ scale rotation channel okay Time range, time slider. So that's why I said I said make sure you only include uh, the work area. Don't include any of the frames that you don't have keyframes on it. Okay, so this will bake all the frames in uh, the time slider. Uh, make sure to check on big animation and over sampling uh, rate as one. So you're gonna bake all keyframes. Okay, once you're done, click on bake. So you're gonna go through all frames. And now when it is done, you can see that it created a keyframe on every frame. Okay. And also, it created a keyframe on each joint. So we don't have to worry about the controller. Okay. So now, as you have done this step, you can denate all the controllers because it's, you know, it's no use for the game. So you can simply just denate it. Uh, you can see that your animation is still there because the action has been transferred to the joints and you have created a keyframe to block the animations. So this will be the only thing you will need for the game. And if your project has um, uh, the lights, you, know, uh, you can just uh, denote it. Uh, so we have a clean file. Okay, so now you can either save this file or save a copy. I highly recommend you save a copy you know, for this one, you already um, bake your animation, and sometimes you may want to change specific animation. So in that case, you will need the controller, you will need the original keyframes. All right, so we will go to File, Save Scene As. So here we can save as uh, a copy. I can say Walk um, Baked Save. We'll repeat this procedure. And, and big animation for all other clips.
All right. So now we have done all of the five clips. So now what we'll do is copy the animation from all clips and paste it to one file. We can uh, use the walk cycle as a final file. Select the file and make a duplication and name it as uh, Philo. Okay. Um, so this will be the final file. So we'll duplicate the keyframes from other clips and paste it into the final comp. Okay. So maybe we'll go to the wrong. Okay, here's the wrong cycle. And we can go to all by type and select all of the joints. Okay, hold on shift and then use your mouse and left key and uh, highlight all keyframes. So all keyframes are uh, selected and right click and then copy. So this will copy all joints keyframes. So now we can go to the final and just to say don't save. And for the final file, here is the walk cycle, right? So we can go to select all by type and select all joints. Okay, and we, we can extend the walk area. So now here we know from frame one to frame 34 is the walk cycle. We can start from 40 and right click and paste, paste. Okay, so this will paste the wrong cycle animation to here from 40 to 55. Okay, works great. Um, to do this, you need to make sure all of your all of these five clips, the joints have the same structure, have the same name convention. Okay, so here is an SC if I select this joint. See this is a, how I named each joint. Okay. So as you copy the keyframe from the wrong cycle, it copied the joints and it copied the name convention. And then as you go back to your final composition, which is here, and if your name convention is different, and then you paste the keyframe and your program don't know, you know, what joints should paste. Okay, so you're gonna be a mess. So make sure the name convention is the same. For all the five clips, the name convention is the same. You don't change anything. All right, so this is the wrong cycle. Uh, we'll save it, update, and then we'll go to uh, jump. Here is it. And let's see, we can go select all by type and joints. Okay, so it has 45 frames. Okay, so we can copy from frame one to frame 45. Copy. Okay, and then go back to final composition. Here we go. Okay, so now select all by type, all joints. Okay, so the run cycle start from 40 to 55, and then we can start, you know, from 60. No, 60 and right click, paste, paste. So now we'll have our uh, jump cycle here. It doesn't matter, you know, between uh, these two poles, you have these uh, transitions, it doesn't matter because in Unity, uh, we'll only use this range that has a keyframe, okay, and we, we will not use this area. Okay, so command S, T to save the file, and then we'll uh, start with the idle. So now let's go to idle. Okay, this is idle, and go to select all by type, all joints. Okay, hold on shift and select all keyframes. Right click, copy, and then go to final. Okay, again, go to select all by type, all joints. Okay, so, in, so here, uh, the jump ends at 105, so we can start from 110. Right click and paste, paste all the keyframes. So now we should have our idle from 110 to 148. So make sure command ST to save your file. And then, uh, okay, attack. And we'll go to select all by type, all joints. It has 28 frames. So I'll highlight all frames, right click and copy. And then go back to the final. Okay. And then go select all by type, all joints. 
the idle ends at 148, we, so we can start 160 for save. All right. Uh, so 160, we can do paste. So here 160 ends at um, 187 is our attack animation. So basically what we'll do is our walk area will from frame 1 to frame 190. So we can here we can put 190. So this will be our final file and we have all five clips here. So make sure you save command S key to save your project. And then I would write a note. Okay, so I will start a document save this file for future references. Okay, in, in the later tutorial, I will reference these uh, keyframes and I'll use that to extract the clips from this file and we'll use that for character animation. So now what we'll need to do, you know, disconnect and we'll go to file, export selection, oh no, sorry, export all and go to option box and we'll export as a FBX. If you don't see this option here, the FBX file format, you can go to Windows, Setting Preferences, Plugin Manager, and you can search FBX. Just to make sure the FBX plugin is checked on. So once you check on, refresh, it'll show up here. Okay, and you can click on uh, Edit Preset. Here's the important, make sure you check on animation. Otherwise, it'll just export a file as an FBX and it won't have all the keyframes. Okay, so make sure you check on animation. And here's another thing. Um, a lot of versions has bugs, has issues, and uh, when you export your FBX as a uh, those version and you may have a problem. Okay, for example, FBX uh, 2019 um, I have some issue with that in Unity 3D, you know, for some specific animations. 2011, I found it's very stable and haven't seen any bugs, you know, in that version. So I just keep it as a 2011, okay? And then you can do export all, file, okay? And here we'll click on export all. Here we go. So it will pump up a option menu. Okay, we can close it. And so I'll start a new scene. This is FBX file we have exported. So I'll just bring the FBX file and just do a final check if everything is um, good. Walk cycle, run cycle, jump, idle, attack. Okay, so everything is correct. And next step, well, organize here a little bit. Organize your files a little bit. So in the future, if you want to change a specific animation, you know where you will need to go to um, to change the keyframe and then bake it again, replace the file and replace the keyframe here. Okay, so next step, uh, well, bring the FBX file directly into Unity 3D and we'll start to uh, create our computer game. 